And welcome everyone to an America East chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Brian head coach, Phil Martelli Jr. Phil, the Bulldogs off to a great start here in the America East. Just knocked off New Hampshire and Binghamton. All positives, especially when you think back to what happened when you got the job in November. Soon after, you knock off FAU. You hold them uh, to, what, 52 points? Yeah. So defense, I know you're proud of that. But talk me through what has transpired from the high of that moment, because that could have been a one-off, to be able to consistently keep these guys at a high level. How have you done it? Well, we talked after that game right away about that was a great moment, but we didn't want it to be the moment of the season. And, and you know, that was, that's was that been a message all the way through is we want to keep building these moments. So, you know, that was a great, obviously, a, a, a highlight moment. Uh, you know, winning at Brown in a rivalry game, city game, you know, losing one of our best players to, to uh, fouls, you know, early in the second half of that game. You know, that was a moment being able to win that game, uh, being down four with seven seconds to go against Towson on a neutral floor in Long Island, coming back and winning that game in double overtime when basically everybody fouled out. I, I was about to put a manager in the game at that point. I didn't have anybody else to put it, but that was a moment, you know, we keep building these moments and, and, you know, so that's been the message is that we want to, again, we want to be able to look back on this season and yes, FAU will be a major highlight to that, but there's other things and there's bigger things that we're trying to do. And this, you know, this group came together to try and accomplish uh, and credit to them. They've, they've stayed on that path and, you know, there's been those highs and lows. There's been those bumps. We've had, you know, some good wins and bad losses and, you know, tough moments and hard practices and different things, but, you know, credit to them. They've just kind of stayed the course. Nothing about a season is linear. There's always, everything goes sideways. But let's talk about defense first, because that clearly was one of the highs. That you guys were able to keep a team like FAU in the 50s. Now, you get, did give up, what, 100 to, to Xavier. Now, mm -hmm. it's at Center, Road. You know, that's not easy. But for the most part, that's more of an outlier. Where is the happy medium with this defense? Well, you know, we, we talked in really back to the summer about wanting to we, – we had to become a better defensive team. We weren't good enough, especially in this conference. This conference, uh, the coaching is outstanding, and the play is really, it's really good. I mean, teams are super disciplined, and we weren't, uh, we weren't enough of that to win a championship last year. So to win a championship, we knew we were going to have to be better defensively. We were going to have to be more disciplined, uh, and that's been the message all along. And really, we, we've aimed uh, – I say it all the time, like, if you can be top three in offense and defense, usually those are the teams you see right in the mix to win it. So that was really our goal, you know, was to try and get, you know, top three offensively, top three defensively. Um, and, again, credit to the guys. Like, guys like Earl Timberlake, Connor Withers have such high IQs and can do so many things. Um, with this road swing coming up, um, great start 3-0, and but we know that Vermont and Lowell – uh, Vermont traditionally, Lowell recently, have been at the top of this league. How do you ensure that a month from now, Bryant is still in that mix? Well, we just have to focus on getting number four. You know, so going into UMBC, the focus was we want to get number one, and we got it. And then it was, okay, now we have to do what we have to do to, to get number two. And that's really what, and it was my message to them, you know, a little bit ago when we met, is that everything now this week is about getting number four. You know, and it, and it just so happens that we're playing Albany, but we're, you know, whoever it is, wherever it is, we're just, we just have to be locked in every day to getting number four. And then, you know, hopefully it's on Saturday or whenever we get number four, then it's about getting number five. And we've just stayed locked into really, and I don't know if it sounds like coach speak or what, but just the simplicity of that. Doing a great job, Phil. I appreciate uh, congrats on getting this. And I know there's a lot of work to come here in the next couple of weeks and months at Bryant and in the Americas. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Andy. I appreciate you.